Alrighty, Lumberjacks, welcome back to another Logging from Scratch episode. Uh, so last time we were playing, what were we doing? Ah, we just brought the truck here. I forgot all about it. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to bring this truck back down to the site, and then we get to test out the what? The power clam. I'm really excited about that. Probably a little more excited than I should be, but I think it'll be fun. So the power clam is definitely a lot easier to load with. Um, the one thing that is kind of annoying is these stakes you got to be really careful with. I mean, there's that one wide stake right in the middle, uh, or one gap in the middle that uh, definitely makes things a lot easier. But if you're trying to move stuff around on those little stakes, oh, it's a nightmare. But the good news is um, Josh has developed a logging trailer for us. Another hay rack, very similar to this guy. But... Um, it's uh, it's got the spacers in it proper. I think it'll be I think it'll be fun. Probably be a couple different versions of that. Man, we're just giving her down this hill. Look at this, my creepy driving skills, with my creepy twitchy wheel stuff. I tried. I did try to uh, hook up an Xbox controller, but the problem is it screwed up all of my controls for my joystick. So I have my joysticks mapped to a particular way, but as soon as I plug in that uh, gamepad or that Xbox controller, um, it reroutes all my controls to the gamepad, so then my joysticks stop working. So I don't know what the hell that's all about, but I'm not too impressed with that. Oops. See, I was like, oh man, that's, that's not good. But yet, uh, here we are. Uh, look right before you cross the road and give her. That was a pretty sketchy idea. Oh, you know what? Let's go through here again. That worked out pretty good. I want to get optimal loading time. We want to get the most loading that we can. Let's drive through this field. Crush the corn. Or the weeds. I don't know. I'm just going to call every... Can I just call all the fields corn? Is that cool? Are you guys going to be against that? Look at all this corn that we just drove through. Man, that's a lot of corn. <laughs> I like this weird, like, circle. What is that? It's like a loading circle of space or something. I don't know. Maybe you guys... Hopefully you guys can see it. See that circle as I pan around? It's aliens, man. Aliens. All right. The good news is we have arrived at our site. So guess what we get to do again? We get to block the road. It's my favorite thing to do. So what we want to do this time is I want to park up here. Actually, you know what we should do? We should be smart and turn this thing around so we can pull ahead. Remember last time we just managed that? Look at all those trees we cut down. Man, I have some ADD going on, but still, look at those trees. Oh, we totally took out that sign. Worth it. Check your mirrors. That's important. There we go. You guys get... Are you ready to get loaded? Oh, yeah. To get loaded. We're going to get loaded. And all the cars can honk all day long, and I don't care at all. Okay, so I think the front bunk is going to be fugly wood by the looks of it. Because we have a lot of fugly wood to get out there. So let's try that. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, my... Uh, hang tight, boys. My joy to key is not on. Actually, you know what I wanted to set? I wanted to try something here. Everyone's like, just load the truck with the new thing. Uh, don't worry, we'll get there. Okay, so right now, I should have this set. So that that's W and A. Okay, so what happens if we do... So if we want the machine to go left, let's try W and A. If we want to go right, let's try W and D. Not W M D, W N D. D. Let's try that. Oops, are we running into a stump? We're always running into a stump. I'm just going to use my POV until I get a new solution for my for my joysticks, or my uh, pedals, because my pedals are being a pain in the butt. All right, let's get these rat tails. All right, let's, uh, let's choke that up a little there. Not too bad. This is not a great loading spot that we chose here, but hey, if we're making it. 
It's kind of driving how I would expect over, uh, over stumps. I mean, I don't think in real life they do super well on stumps either. See, that's the only thing I don't like is these, these, uh, stakes. But we're going to make our own. It's going to be better. Actually, I can probably reach those. I don't need to even back up. Easily we can reach those. I like about this is it, it closes up pretty tight too. So even if you got little pieces, um, you can still cinch up on them. They don't just lay around and they're all loose and crappy like. Let's turn our light on. Shed some light on this issue here. Oh man, that's actually a cool picture. Maybe with the light off though. Oh, that's pretty good. Hey, what do you think of that? If that one doesn't make you click on the thumbnail, I don't know what will. That looks pretty good. Okay. Enough PR. Let's get back to work here. And let's just go like that. Oh, no. That, didn't, that did not pencil as well as I hoped it would. Uh, I'm going to put it this way because I might be able to use that rack to kind of make that work a bit. Whoops. Uh, a little bit better. There we go. Hey. There we go. There we go. And we're going to just give it some of these. Now, I don't know if this thing is tolerable enough to do this, but we're going to try to bump it up here a little. Oh, yeah, that's not so bad. Oops. Until you do something like that. Oops. Oh, my gosh. Careful. Careful, buddy. Let's see how many of these we can scoop out of here. Scoop de shweep. And we grab these. It's a, it's not a lot, but it's a it's a good little good little amount for sure. Man, the one thing about this being such a large claw is my depth perception is not used to it. I'm used to such a little scrawny claw to use. So it's a little weird loading, but it's oh, it's so much nicer. I mean it's pretty smooth compared to that last one, right? The one thing that um Josh did is he made it really nice and round for the clothes and this game loves claws that are round you try using square stuff or anything with like sharp angles you're done for man i know this from building lots of grapples and playing with the physics for many hours i don't think people realize how much how many hours i've actually spent just trial and erroring the physics pushing all the buttons testing it out over and over and over and over for hours on end. people don't realize that that's so why I always get these funny requests from people. And I'm like, no, man, it doesn't work. I've tried it. Trust me. And they're like, well, maybe you should try it again. It's like, I literally spent like 400 hours on grapples. Like, trust me, I know, I really do know when the physics work on things and when they don't. But you don't have to, you don't have to believe me. Why is that guy honking about? Oh, I guess the truck's in the way here. Hold on. Can we scoop it out a little? Whoops. Easy, boy. There you go. See, now traffic can go. Everybody can be happy. Shut up. All right. So, I'm just going to keep... Oh, yeah. I, keep, I don't need my keyboard. Oh, I'm so used to using my keyboard. That's so weird. All right. So, let's grab some of these. Like, even these, like... Oh, look how smooth of a pickup that is. See if we can pencil it all nice. While well, we're penciling on a hill, too. That's kind of weird. But not bad. Even for a hill, that's pretty good. All right, let's uh, let's sprinkle some more of these on top of here. Uh, let's see if we can straighten that a little. There we go. Loading on top of these little crap sticks is pretty inconvenient. There you go. Just gotta crush it on in there, you know. What's going on here? That's the one I want right there. You, you're the weakest link. Okay, you know what? We're gonna call that back one good there. Let's uh, let's load up this front side here. And we're just gonna kind of gently put that in there. I have my my fear is hitting those ones and flipping that load up. There we go. 
So with these stakes being so close together and the other stakes being all over the place, you got to be a little more careful with this grapple because this grapple is a mean mofo. It, uh, it takes no prisoners. It's also a lot wider than you think, so you gotta got to be gentle with it. Oh, this looks so good, though. Just barely even focusing on loading. I'm just watching that grapple react. So pretty. So let's grab some of these. Uh, let's see if we can score off the top here. Look at that. Look at that grab. What, what, other, what other thing would give you a grab like that? I mean, come on, man. Let's see if we can bunk these up a little here. Oh, that was a bad call. Clearly, I had too many in there to try that technique. I was going to see if I could hit... Usually, you can use the other bunk and kind of, like, bump it up a little bit. That was a bad call. There we go. We'll pick these guys back up. Fix our problem here. I really want to get this in, whoops, in one shot, but I don't think it's possible. Well, no, it's not possible. Look at all that wood. There's no way. Is it? Is it possible? I think even if I stacked it to the literal sky, it would still be not enough room. Let's, <laughs> let's see if we can get more of this front bunk. It's a bad idea. This, what I'm doing right here, is a bad idea. But I really want to get it on there. Oh my god. This is a terrible idea. Whoever thought of this idea was not thinking it through. Okay, if I actually get this on there, I'm just going to quickly lock that because that's scary. Come on. Oh. You know what the funny part is? I can probably get more on there. I'm going to grab a couple pieces off this top piece. And we're just going to lay them right on top. Okay, we're playing a very dangerous game here. Okay, we should lock that. <laughs> Look at all that. I can't believe that's staying. Does it lock right to the top? Oh, it doesn't quite reach all the way up there. Which ones are loose? Does it lock it anyway? No, that one's loose. And that one's loose. Darn. I was kind of hoping those ones would fit, but... This load should be worth quite a bit of money, though. I just kind of want this to be the last load so I don't have to come back down for cleanup. No point in doing cleanup. Well, actually, technically, this would be a cleanup load because of how much crap is in it. It's actually more of a half pulp, half saw log load. Oh man, there's no way we're going to get all that. A little too far. We may have to just leave some behind, which I find unacceptable. Like, I don't even know if this grapple is going to fit on there. That's a lot of wood. Oh, buddy. Oh, boy. What are we done? What are we doing here? That's pretty impressive. <laughs> pretty impressive load, though. Clearly, I'm going to need to build uh, trailers with much higher stakes than these because we want off-highway stuff. This is... Not quite enough for me. Oh no, don't fall. Don't do it. Ah, oh, you bugger. Well, I mean, one thing we do got to bring this loader up there, so. Hey, let's look at their cheat view and see how much room we got. Like zilch. There's like five sticks left. Oh, come on. I really want to do this. I really want to make this work somehow. The problem is once we get to a certain height, like the uh, like I was saying, they don't lock anymore. 
So it makes it really difficult to uh, keep things on the on the up and up. Okay, let's uh, <laughs> let's see what we can do. I mean, where am I gonna put this last grapple? Like, there's nowhere to put this. Look at that. It's like a full mitt. There's no way. Get her done, boy. Like, where is this even going to go? There's no way. And if we do get it on there, we're going to have to drive it like the speed of smell to try to make sure it gets to the mill. All right. Well, all or nothing. Here we go. Okay, now if I lock it, do you think it'll it'll stay there? Some of it maybe, but definitely not all of it. This is a very not legal load and a very unsafe load. I don't even know if this truck will be able to pull this up the hill. <laughs> Uh, brother. All right, well, we'll try, I guess, and see what happens. Oh, two sticks fall in there. Okay, let's see here. What about up here? Can we get a couple more on this one? I feel as though there should be room on this side a little bit. Just a little bit of room. Let's see here. I'm going to cheat view. Oh yeah. Oh, oh no. Oh, darn. I feel like this is a loaderman on every end of the block in real life. Just come on, boys. Just get one more on there. You can handle one overload. You haven't had an overload this year. Yeah, right. Something a loaderman never says to a truck truck driver. You've never had an overload. All right, let's see. Well, I don't know. I think we're going to lose a few sticks here, boys. I don't think she's going to stay the whole way. Jeez, I can barely even steer it. A load to be reckoned with. Actually, this side's probably got a better view. <laughs> That's probably going to be a thumbnail. The other one was cool, but this one? Mm. Alright, so we're just going to bring it down here to the turnoff because I'm going to run out of time. And then we'll, uh, next episode, we'll be bringing this load up the hill. And it's going to take probably half an episode because we're going to have to go so slow not to lose any of those logs. The fact that they're settling up there is pretty cool, though. As long as we don't hit anything at all for any reason, we should be good. All right, so we're going to pull off to the side here just to kind of get off the road a little for a minute. All right, there we have her. Oops. Brakes, man, the brakes. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to leave it with that. <laughs> that load is something. I'm going to leave it with that, and uh, on the next one we come back, we get to trek this horrendous load up the hill. That's... Uh, that's mighty impressive, boys. Okay, so uh, if you liked the video, leave a like, leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Yeah, do it. And uh, yeah, if you're in the bush, don't forget to hug a tree. All right, guys, we will see you on the next one.